Hello everyone, I'm Kako Chrissy. Welcome back to my channel. Today here I show you another uh, unusual jade finger piece. Uh, this one you can see a tiny bird on the top of this big horn. This is the pendant to use. And uh, this part is the main part. It's not only by the proportion, this is the smaller finger, this is bigger, but also mainly by where they put this dainty face to connect it with the god on there. Now we know this part is the main, this is the part, just the decoration. Mm, for this bird, you see how mm, little they decorated a big round eyes the, for the neck and two tiny lines here for the wings indicated the wings they decorate it's very very simple left all those materials majority is untouched this is the trade jade principle is consistent with the Hongshan people will do you see the how the culture connection uh, between them although there's a flat piece you notice this part and this part that they shape with it around nicely try to make a, a three-dimensional reality looking birds it's very simple decorate but it's well done and the surface is such well polished. Like we have said before, this kind of a polish, almost like a mirror, you see the reflecting the light. That's the, um, one of the main character of a Liangzhu Jade you will look for. Uh, by the end of the video, I will put on a few um under my series club shot um, pictures instead of videos uh, because they are um, I, I try to see if uh, the picture can help you see better by the patinas um, and uh, the way how they make lines It is uh, such a beautiful little cute bird. Mm. We emphasize that we need to see this jade material. This is similar with uh, um, the few pieces we have studied. It's a yellow kind of jade, but stained heavily, thoroughly by this deep orange almost like an orange colored the stain on the top you see the glassy looking patina mm. it's such a beautiful thing um, we need to check uh, the stone the jade material and uh, the patina on the top and uh, the design and also we need to go through this uh, Mm, craftsmanship that I will show you the later by the photos. Mm, this first step is very important to for you to learn jade, uh, to master this uh, this subject of of art, um, so you can identify jade on your own once you accumulate enough knowledge mm, beware we have to constantly update our knowledge as always and also i want to see once you merge the, those knowledge together you will start to see without the, that the um, four step check up probably unconsciously you do you still use that method but you will see 
some picture far beyond this appearance. You see the cultural connections. You will see how、um, you can identify this piece put on the location it belongs to.、Uh, you you will see a lot of information beyond this just a piece of a jade. Behind it, it is tell you lot of a story about their life.、Mm, I think that is a truly beauty part of learning Asian jade by tidying up them to their belong the location. We can get a lot of information about how their life look like, what they like. Um, of course, how they make a jade and why they make that shape. It's a beautiful, it's such a beautiful subject.、Mm, that's why I emphasize until you mastered this method,、uh, just like、uh, you master as a, the driving still. And、try to apply step by step by this method. It will carry go very very far, without you even notice.、Mm. Okay, I hope、uh, this add more knowledge to your database.、Mm. Be free, free your mind, learn each piece. I think that is very, very important.、Uh, if you only goes by books,、um, by the exhibitions,、um, unfortunately, at today's level,、um, probably you won't get、uh, a lot of information as you ask for. They just don't have much information out there. We learn from the grandmasters, and also, more important, we need to learn from each piece. Let these pieces teach us to help us build up our、um, knowledge base, and let those each pieces teach us something more we haven't noticed yet.、Mm. I think that's the point. We say empirical observation is the base, is the way we gain the knowledge.、Mm, thank you for watching today. I will see you next time.